In the middle of the presidential election season, Chattanooga's March mayoral election may get lost in the shuffle for some. Channel 3's Grace McKenna has more on election overload. With all eyes on November, Chattanooga's mayoral and city council hopefuls are already looking to next March's elections. But why separate city contests from state and federal elections or even county elections in August? Channel 3 took that question to UTC's Chris Acuff. We wanted to separate um, local issues from state and national issues and also from, from the politics of it. Acuff says the unintended consequence is significantly lower turnout. In the last two city elections, less than 20% of voters cast a ballot. Some districts uh, for council races, you know, say 1,500, maybe to 2,000 uh, residents voted in those races. In 2021, with seven candidates already running for mayor, a hotly contested seat could change the trend. That's probably going to drive up numbers across the board. After months of protests in Chattanooga and massive turnout for virtual city budget meetings, new attention to local issues could drive turnout as well. People are starting to realize that these issues really do affect them, uh, and we're seeing a lot more interest in those things. Many mayoral candidates have already hit the campaign trail. ACUF says because many voters pay less attention to local elections, early name recognition is key, especially with in-person campaign events mostly eliminated due to COVID-19. You'll likely see a lot more candidates trying to push things out via social media and stuff like that, um, which again may, be, may raise equity issues for, for people who don't have um, internet access or a smartphone. With months of campaigning ahead, ACUF says avoiding voter fatigue will be hard but necessary to get people to the polls. Reporting in Chattanooga, Grace McKenna, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. In addition to the mayoral race, Chattanooga has several council seats coming up on the March ballot as well.